Friday morning transfer news is Yilmaz could be on his way back to Turkey because Galatasaray need to fill their Turkish quota because they need more homegrown players. And of course, Galatasaray won the league this year, going to be in the Champions League. Um, now, he did join us for Besiktas for 4 million last year, but they need to follow the Super League role, r rules. rules. Could I see this happening? I mean, it's a move back to his home country, but I don't know. Would he betray Besiktas for Galatasaray? Who knows? Who knows what he would do, man? But in terms of this, I don't want Yilmaz to go. I feel like in recent games, he, he, he's he been a glimmer of hope than that left-hand side with Barisic. Just going fucking there where I'm sorry. Barisic should be another guy that we're uh, getting rid of. He really should be. And we're not. So I don't really understand why there's no real talk of Barisic going. There's a lot of talk of a lot of players going, but Borna Barisic seems not to be one of them. But according to... Journalist uh, Metin Karabas speaking to Davibo Sport. The Galatasaray manager is very interested in the young left back, and the clubs are set to hold talks about a potential transfer. Um, but Ibrox News is saying keep Rangers have got far too many areas in the squad that need addressing to be letting young players with bundles of potential leave when they could easily do a job in the first team. Yelmas was signed to replace Barisic eventually, and while injuries this season have made it really difficult for him to do it straight away, has shown in recent weeks when given a run in the team that he is good enough. Absolutely, and you know what? If we are going to sell him, the guy's got a lot of potential. I'd try and get about fucking 8 million for him, but no, I'm not for selling him personally, so be interested to see what sort of team is going to get picked in St Mirren. I think it's going to refer back to the old team where we, um, where we played against uh, the likes of Hibs and Celtic with. Into the second part of this video, and it's about Glenn Kamara. There was no big deal made about Glenn Kamara on Wednesday. Literally, it seems like every other player got a farewell who needed a farewell, and Glenn Kamara was not one of them. He started, he got subbed off, and nobody really gave a shit. It was literally for Arfield, McGregor, and Alfredo. That is literally the only three that got any form of send-off while the game was taking place, like, Kamara got nothing, hee-haw, but I don't think Kamara's thought of as fondly as those guys, obviously not, but, uh, yeah, because it looks like he's kind of threw his toys out the pram, Kamara, but let's read the article. Rangers are reportedly likely to make a multi-million fee for the, from the sale of Glenn Kamara as he's fallen out of favour. According to the Scotsman, 25th of May, Gers could make two million from the sale of the 27-year-old to Finland International. There's two more years there left to run out in this deal at Ibrox, but it's fine game and time hard to come by. Just shows you the last summer linked with a six million pound move to Nice, and now we're getting hee haw. And I mean, look at this. A couple of seasons ago, Kamara was linked with clubs like Arsenal, and now struggling to even make the match day squad at Rangers, which is. A very valid point. With new signings in the summer, the midfield is likely to be strengthened and it'll push him behind further in that pecking order. So, yeah. Kamara's got no chance of being honest if ever featuring properly. And that is... That is the gimmick. But anyway, guys, that's us done for this video. Probably more transfer news later. The M8 is under construction. There's a spot that in the bottom left-hand corner beside the... Uh, Beside the countdown, brother. But anyway, that's me done. I'll see you very soon. But until next time, peace.